77 to 88. A legend to you, Kenny Dalgleish. Enter King Kenny from Celtic. You've more or less taken over from Kevin Keegan. How do you feel about that? Well, Kevin Keegan's been at Liverpool. He's done a great job for Liverpool. Liverpool were great for Kevin Keegan. But he's gone now. So I'll just go and try my best. And I'm not trying to take over from Kevin Keegan. I'm just trying to be my own man. Ken Dalglish, the man who this week cost the European champions a British record transfer fee of £440,000 from Celtic. Every touch of his will be eagerly watched by the Liverpool fans. The man who's been bought to replace the man some people said was irreplaceable, Kevin Keegan. His first league game was against Middlesbrough, up in Middlesbrough, which, you know, it's not the best of places. It's very cold, even in the summer. And Kenny came on the pitch. Of course, everybody's eyes is on him. But then he scored off the six minutes. And still not appeared, John, and said, well, you know, that's got to be the first of many. And Liverpool fans will, you know, if Kenny Dalglish and the rest of the team go on, They'll win everything, oh, of course, which they did. Within minutes today, Liverpool's latest and most expensive signing, Kenny Dalglish, was winning the ball, recovering quickly and racing into space, even if on this occasion Steve Highway chose to go through alone. Highway was on his very best form today. So was Kenny Dalglish. Smith leading the charge. Kennedy. Dalglish. Oh, that's nice! That's lovely! Piece of impudence, Kenny Dalglish, his fifth league goal of the season. Hanson to McDermott. Hanson again. It's a good ball for Dalglish. He's got a second chance because Harris's clearance was a bad one, and he's curled it in! much too good a player to be given a second chance. Harris's header was a weak one, and Dalglish measured that curler to the inch. One minute and three quarters gone. Liverpool won, Chelsea nil. Good ball. Terry McDermott streaking in. McDermott floating it through, and Whitworth clearing from the empty goal mouth. Back come Liverpool. It was not offside. The Leicester defence stood still, and it's Kenny Dalglish who makes it three goals to nil for Liverpool. It must have been very, very close, but Kenny Dalglish comes back. 3-0, 81 minutes of play gone. Case to take the corner. Just Hughes back on the halfway line. Everybody else forward as the ball comes over. Nodded in by Thompson. Johnson there. Great save. But Dalglish has scored. Well, it's pot shots now as Case takes the corner. Thompson soars well. There's a fine effort on the turn here from Fairclough. Superb save, but it doesn't help Cargus as Dalglish rams in the rebound. Hansen in there too. Phil Thompson with that header. And Dalglish has made it 4 2. Well, is there yet a chance for Liverpool as that corner from Highway came floating in? The big men got up, nodded it on its way. And Dalglish was there to give that uh, clip just over the line.
Oh, mistake by Tony, and he's put down Gleesh through for Liverpool. Beautifully taken. Dalglish scores his 21st goal of the season for Liverpool and surely puts this tie beyond any doubt. A terrible mistake by Tony, who left Humberto absolutely out of position. Dalglish ran on and watched this for finishing. Right in the corner. And Liverpool surely in the semi-finals. Hits that long for Johnson. A case. And Dalglish is in the clear. And Dalglish slots in a super little goal. Oh, so easy. Less than four minutes played. 1 0 Liverpool. Dalglish scores his 24th goal in Liverpool's colours. That starting with Neil's long ball forward. Johnson a touch on to Jimmy Case. Releasing it perfectly in the path of Dalglish. Villa were all over the place and a super little goal. And surely, well, eventually Dalglish has got it. Somebody else might have got a touch. Dalglish has chalked up his second goal. 19 minutes have gone. It's 2 0 Liverpool. It's a wicked corner in from Highway and was not cleared by the Villas defenders. Dalglish had two bites of the cherry and made the second one count. Dermot sprinting across the box. Kennedy is in there. He's got the header. Dalglish the shot and it's going in! Liverpool in the lead. There's the pass. And really quite a soft shot, but beautifully played just inside that far post. Well, he cost £440,000. Who would argue that he was worth every penny of it now? A goal that could well bring a victory in the European Cup final. is onside and can make it four. Well, not quite the quality of the previous goals, but it's Kenny Dalglish's fourth of the season. Came from a miscue by Alan Kennedy that just put him through. He was just onside and he took his time to put it away. Case. Miss hit, but it's gone Dalglish and he turns and scores. got his fifth goal of the season. McDermott. Several times so far, Liverpool have tried these hard, low crosses into the box. No profit from them yet. But they can be very difficult to deal with. McDermott put in by Highway. And the chest down by Perriman dropped nicely for Dalglish. Now Kennedy. And soon as Kenny turn on it, Pulled it back for Case. Dalglish! Well, I reckon they've done it again. After that ball had pinged around, it was played back to Case, and I'm sure that his shot was mishit, but it came nicely to Dalglish, and he deflected it past Danes.
Thompson. By Johnson. Dalglish has got round his man now. Little chip. Johnson, beautiful ball, and a great break by Hansen. Will he score? He set it up for Dalglish. 5 0. What a marvellous goal! What a beautiful goal! Is Soonis. McDermott's in here. Dalglish. <laughs> Albion bodies all over the place in the goal mouth, and Liverpool have scored. McDermott made it possible with one of his familiar runs. He found space inside the area. The ball pulled back, and Dalglish scores his first league goal since the 21st of October and he scores it fittingly in the 21st minute I would imagine you must have been pleased with your own form today well it's more important in the team John than, than any personal uh, performance and actually I'm more happy I'd be happy to win the league than anything else but you feel that you're playing well the team no you well the, the man just picked me so he must be happy if I keep him happy I'm all right Dalglish turning ball and who got back, but it's still Dalglish. Oh! A brilliant goal. Liverpool are playing from right to left in the first half in the dark shorts. And it's David Johnson starting that attack, Terry McDermott on the right, and the scorer in the centre, Kenny Dalglish, who always seems to do well against Ipswich. His goal also knocked them out of the FA Cup last season in the sixth round. It's Thompson. And now Kiss. Flicked in there for Dalglish. Oh, Dalglish! And a goal! Dalglish! You can't give him a moment to think or a yard to work in a penalty area and that's what United did there but what skill! Bailey couldn't quite get to it and just inside that far post. Liverpool a goal up, Kenny Dalglish Leary, Steve Wolf. Ace, challenged by Ricks, but riding it. Now Neil, McDermott, Johnson to Sunis. And just a touch, McDougrish will score. Dalglish. 
Kennedy came in, so did Thompson. It was away in the end by Alberston. Here's Thompson. Alan Kennedy. Did that nicely. Douglas! <laughs> Kenny Douglas, the scorer, is 22nd of the season for Liverpool. And a goal beautifully made for him by Alan Kennedy, who over on the left-hand side there, checked, came back inside Steve Koppel, delivered the cross to the far post, and Dalglish put it away. Kenny Dalglish showed how to keep cool and pick the spot. support up front, only Sunderland, and he was beaten by Hansen. Who comes all the way and finds Delglish, who's onside. And that is absolutely outstanding finishing by the Footballer of the Year, Kenny Delglish. What a goal. was absolutely world-class. Alan Hansen from defence made it possible by keeping cool and bringing the ball through himself, defeating any attempt to play the offside game. Fed Dalglish, who went on, made a real monkey out of Paul Walford, who he left on his backside, and then the clinical finish passed Pat Jennings. He's enjoying this run, the pullback. Johnson. Soonis. Again, Alan Kennedy. Dalglish. Oh, and that's gone in as well, and that was also deflected. Dalglish will claim the goal for Liverpool, but that also got a deflection. That's two deflected goals past Sealy now. Dalglish, who took a long time to get across from the left, he got the shot in and it ricocheted off a player. It went, seemed to go between Gillespie and Johnson, actually, and it went past Seeley. And Liverpool have scored again with a deflection. Dalglish. Neil. Passed by Case. Is there again? Ray Kennedy, Dalglish. It's there. Well, the Manchester City defence were looking to the linesman. They thought a hint of offside there. The referee says no. The ball came down beautifully to Dalglish. He could hardly miss. Liverpool are 2 0 up. showing why he's so highly rated amongst his uh, fellow professionals here today. Free kick then to be taken by Phil Neal. Ray Kennedy's head. Gets it. And Dalglish. There it is. Well, that was just easy. So the free kick went straight to Kennedy's head. He nodded it down. Dalglish mm -hmm. said, thank you very much. The score, nil three. Hansen. With by the side, and Kennedy ghosting into an empty space. Mistake by Hughes, gave it to Dalglish. And it's the opening goal. Douglas celebrates. Johnson, first time to McDermott, Douglas. And that's through.
good ball forward from Downs, cut out easily by Phil Neal and pushed forward himself in support here as Powell comes over. Neal inside well to Dalglish. Now they're open. Johnson is full back here and Dalglish has got it straight in. Beaten again. Well, that was a lovely goal, but they're going through them like knife through butter. That was a bad ball forward. Phil Neal did well to come up in support. And look at Dalgleish summing up the situation very quickly, although he's got Johnson on his left-hand side. In it goes from the right-hand side, just like Johnson scored a couple of minutes earlier. 3-0. Dalgleish is 13th. Case to take the corner. But it was by Johnson. Clearance by Francis. In again by Hansen. Cannon heading it straight up in the air. Dalgleish challenging. Gilbert there. Dalgleish trying to smuggle his way through. And then chip it away from Barrett. What an astonishing goal by Kenny Dalgleish. A mixture of cheat and genius. There really didn't seem a goal on there. He's battling away with one, two, three players round him and still manages to beat. John Burridge as he plunges across. That's McDermott. Neil. And it was down and put straight in by Kenny Dalgleish. And Shilton for once hangs his head down. Shilton a lonely figure as he walks back. And Peter Shilton acknowledging that he was at fault there. He really is irritated with himself. in the box in the middle here is McDermott and there's Dalgleish McDermott found by Neil and the cross only about a yard out and Kenny Dalgleish down on all fours to get the nod in 4-3 to Liverpool Kenny Dalgleish who's complained a bit Hoped a bit, hasn't always got what he thought he should have got. In the end, perhaps has got the winner. Slotted through to Royal. Played and found Royal well, but it's all broken down. A case on for number seven, Dalgleish. And that's the second. The defence totally split. Jimmy Case made the pass. And Kenny Dalgleish produced the finish. And in that sort of position, Liverpool are clinical and really devastating. Once the defence was split, Case was there in the middle, he saw the possibility, he slotted the ball through, and this time Kenny Dalgleish made no mistake at all. Case. Soon as Johnson wide on the left-hand touchline, onside. Kennedy's gone into the middle. He's, there's Kennedy. Here's Dalgleish. Puts it beyond recall. And Bristol City paid for their own attacking in trying to save the game. The ball played out to David Johnson on the left. Ray Kennedy was the only man forward, as he is so often coming from midfield. Knocked it down. And then the whole game seemed to turn into slow motion as the ball trickled loose and Dalgleish got a second chance to put it in. Kennedy, Dalgleish and McQueen again. And McQueen has slipped and Dalgleish has a clear run at goal and he scored. Once Gordon McQueen had slipped, the rest was formality. Kenny Dalgleish gets his 20th goal of the season to put Liverpool in front.
McQueen left on the seat of his pants. Dalgleish squeezing it in by the near post. It's 1-0 to Liverpool, and we've been playing almost 15 minutes. Soonis. Oh, yeah. Dalgleish and Fairclough in the middle, but that was a header away by O'Leary. Soonis. Owen, Dalgleish to Kennedy and back again, and Dalgleish goes through and scores! Now oh, that has made a different game of it. Now oh, that is exactly what Liverpool needed early in the game. Dalgleish taking the return pass, holding off two challenges, and through he goes, and that's 1-0. Dalgleish, goal number 21 this season. Phil Thompson playing it forward again. Dalgleish getting ahead of there. Kennedy playing it back there. McDermott storming in on this one. Played here for Sunis. How much more can anybody stand of this sort of tension? Nodded in again. And it might be there. Dalgleish! Right at the last, they're off the Liverpool bench. And Arsenal were just seconds away from Wembley. And now, well, who knows? Kenny Dalgleish has scored when the referee had added more than two minutes of injury time. Liverpool level at 1-1. There's never been a semi-final to touch it for drama. And we're going to get another 30 minutes of it now. Of that, you can be absolutely sure. 30 minutes, of course, when Liverpool will play with 10 men. Touched on there, and always just that little bit out of Arsenal's grasp. O'Leary couldn't quite get up high enough. Soon is heading it on. Nodded in once more, I think, there by Phil Thompson. And in the end, it falls for Dalgleish to hit it from such close range. What a devastating blow for Arsenal, but what a tremendous moment of joy for Liverpool. Johnson, Dalgleish. Wide on the right case. He's found himself a lot of space out here. And Hilaire is spending a lot of his time covering. back to Cohen. Dalgleish, never quite sure which way he'll turn. And got it back onto his left foot. It's always the danger. Goal manufactured by Kenny Dalgleish out of absolutely nothing. Don't need any telling that there are all kinds of dangers here. The kick's been quickly taken to Cohen. And Cohen tries to chip the goalkeeper and hits the bar. Lee... Dalgleish at 3-0. What a goal that Kenny Dalgleish has earned. And a goal that was virtually scored twice. Lovely bit of work by Cohen that comes back off the bar. And some beavering away there by Lee. And there's an empty goal for Dalgleish to head into. Goal number two, out of the blue. Well, the Altingham defence uh, caught napping, I suppose. Uh, but an extremely good back-headed flick there by Kenny Dalgleish. And that's the kind of thing that often uh, catches goalkeepers so unawares. Dermot in possession, coming forward, thundering forward. Doug Leach going in. And it's a goal. The second one from Kenny Dalgleish, and it looks so simple. The Altingham defence was stretched. Liverpool broke. 
and it was there a simple move into the middle Dalglish taking the ball taking the cross on the right on the half volley and side foot into the back of the net Liverpool three Altrincham nil and West Ham have certainly got plenty back Superbly, it was taken there on the volley on the turn by Kenny Dalglish, and that's 1 1. Kenny Dalglish, who scored in every round, and my word, the goal that has now beaten Phil Parks was maybe as precious as any of them. What about it, Brian? Oh, it was an absolute beautiful goal. He delayed his pass, it was taken before it reached the floor. Phil Parks had no chance whatsoever with that. That was a brilliant goal. And 1 1. Liverpool began their goal rush with a header from Kenny Dalglish, Liverpool's 100th goal in the European Cup. Lee. Dalglish. Offside. Well, I'm sure he got some satisfaction out of that. At least he found the back of the net and he's had a few opportunities this afternoon, but offside given against him. Sammy Lee to take the corner for Liverpool. Driven in hard and the flick header from Dalglish and it's in. Kenny Dalglish has broken the duck which has lasted since November of last year. Sammy Lee's corner and Kenny Dalglish with a real flick header which caught Perry Digweek completely by surprise makes it pay. The corner driven in hard from Sammy Lee. And Kenny Dalglish, a powerful header. Digweed got there, couldn't hold it, and it rolled over the line. 1 0 to Liverpool. Corner to Liverpool. Oh, Wheeler with a shot. Dalglish. <laughs> Tremendous strike by Ronnie Whelan. Great finish by Kenny Dalglish. After two minutes of the second half, look at the way Whelan cracked that. Jim Arnold couldn't hold it. Kenny Dalglish went in, and that's 1 0. Neil is also in the penalty area. It's played short to Sunis. McDermott. Oh, here's a chance again, perhaps, for Dalglish. Oh! He's got his second, and the cop are going wild. Look at those Liverpool players, there's a fan in there. Liverpool at two up and Dalglish can do nothing wrong. Kerry McDermott put that ball through, Dalglish was behind the defence, but Lahm tried to reach him, his finish was clinical. Richards, Whelan, Sunis, Neil, Dalglish, oh what a goal! Two players, three players on the ground, flat out in the area. Bradshaw is one. But how do you stop a goal like that from a player like Kenny Dalglish? Rush. Lee. Dalglish has made the run. Clark is with him. Oh, Dalglish has got past him. And how did he get it in from there? Kenny Dalglish gives Liverpool the lead. Five minutes gone. Bad mistake, though, in the heart of the Sunderland defence. And the culprit, Jeff Clark, really. Dalglish eluding the challenge and just recovering himself and through Siddall's legs. Dalglish gives Liverpool the lead. McDermott. 
Dalglish. He's got a bit of room. Oh, that is just brilliant from Kenny Dalglish. You don't give Kenny Dalglish room anywhere. 2-0 to Liverpool. There really didn't look to be that much danger, but Dalglish saw he'd been given room, and he had the time to line up the shot, and that was just inch perfect. Siddall had no chance. 16 minutes gone. Douglas. It might break for him. It does. On the stroke of half time. Forward from Kennedy. Douglas was sensing what was on here. Ran a little kindly for him off Steggles. But he needed no second chance. Whelan is poised way on the far side of the goal to make a run. And the header from Dalglish, who was also left completely unmarked. And well may Ipswich hang their heads. Look at the space Dalglish was allowed here. It was a case of pick your spot. Sunis, Lee, Douglas, he's up there, oh Douglas is through, Kenny Douglas, Clements had no chance at all, and is that the goal which clinches the first division title? Kenny Dalglish, the scorer. It might have looked easy, but how cool he kept when he found himself with only the goalkeeper to beat. He checked, waited a moment, and slipped the ball in. 55 minutes gone, two goals in four minutes. Liverpool were behind, and now they're in front. Dalglish who played his 200th match for Liverpool at Arsenal on Tuesday night, has now scored 78 goals for the club. And perhaps that was one of the most valuable. There's Hanson. Craig Johnson has pulled away to the left wing. And Kennedy also on that side on the ball now. And Dalglish has found it offside. Offside, I think. The referee looks to the line and the flag was up. That flag was up before the cross came in, or as it came in, and the goal does not stand. O'Reilly and Rush might collect this. Maybe fouling Price, but Mr. Courtney saw nothing wrong. 2-0. Douglas. It's six in under six games now for Kenny Douglas, but Ian Rush paved the way, tangling with Price. Referee allowed play to go on. Rush rolled it back. Douglas said thank you very much. But here's Rush beating O'Reilly. Lawrenson at the near post. Douglas. A second for Dalglish. Lifting it lazily over Clements. After Rush had got the better of O'Reilly. Look for Lawrenson coming in at the near post. He made contact. Clements for once couldn't hang on. And Dalglish got it up and over him. Dalglish with the corner. He's gone in. Well, that really was a strange goal from Kenny Dalglish. And Aston Villa find themselves two goals down. The ball coming across the area. No one could get a foot grip for Villa. A wet pass Rimmer and into the far corner. As the temperature dropped, Liverpool began to play with more urgency. And Kenny Dalglish scored the equaliser in the second half. But what have you had?
تجيل رقم سبعة وبحرز نيو Probing forward again, and Dalglish has made space for himself. And tries to call it, and does! A great moment for a master craftsman. It's his 300th goal in senior club football for Celtic and Liverpool. And if anyone could find a way through a mass defence, it's Kenny Dalglish. Problems here for Ipswich, who have pulled everyone back. Rush certainly fell into the area, but the point of contact was on the edge. It's Dalglish, splendidly executed. Ipswich will wonder about whether the free kick should have been given. Liverpool will celebrate the way that they took it. Kennedy over the ball, and Dalglish found a way around the wall. The goal coming 20 minutes into the second half, after 65 minutes of Liverpool frustration. Johnston, Dalglish, and Liverpool a level. Clinically done. United held the advantage for four minutes. Rush for the first touch, and what a good ball played by Craig Johnston for Dalglish to finish so decisively. Both have left Craig Johnston. It's over his head. Neil McElroy who got a foot in Hanson Dalglish Whelan is the Liverpool player jumping Dalglish collects seven minutes gone Alan Hanson starting it off coming from deep Dalglish with the first touch and he read the header from Whelan. Dalglish. This neat piece of defending by Dave Watson. Sunis. It came for Lee. And now for Rush. And Dalglish. 3 0. Less than two minutes played in the second half. It's the 19th of the season for Dalglish. Something of a fortunate touch it seemed from Sunes, but it was effective to find Lee. Rush was in the clear, and it dropped off Berry right on the line for Dalglish. Apparent indecision. I wonder whether that's so. Armstrong. Liverpool have certainly had more of the play since they went behind. And here's Douglas with a chance to make it one each. And he does. May well have gone off right in the end, but I'm sure that Douglas will claim the goal and with every justification for doing so. 13 minutes gone. Peter Shilton beaten with the cross shot from Kenny Douglas. Sprinter de man daar is Nikkel. Voorin is Hotchen. Oeh, er speelt Nikkel Wijnstekers daar makkelijk uit. Dat Glies kan schieten, het is 3-3. Precies op tijd vertrokken Steve Nikkel. Wijnstekers wil ingrijpen. Maar Nikkel speelt hem heel simpel uit. Kan de korte, koek, de korte hoek kiezen, doet dat niet. Dalglis scoort, 3-3. Een minuutje nog. Sammy Lee. Steve Nickel. 
wordt weinig risico meer genomen. Kijk. Bij de ploeg hebben veel gegeven. Gold Lies dan nog een keer, maar hij staat buitenspel. Scoort wel. Van der Laar zag het eerst niet. Maar kijk nu goed naar zijn grensrechter. En die zag het wel. Kijk maar, Soenes. Dalglish staat randje buitenspel, omdat nummer 3 Troost er precies op tijd uitkwam. En dit feestje gaat dus niet door. Dat is een fijne bal. Hansen to rush. They seem to find angles that the teams don't appreciate. Lee. Dalglish. Lee again. Robinson. Back heel to Dalglish, surely. Yes, it was. It's on here. And Dalglish has scored. A quite magnificent goal. And Liverpool prove again that there's no team better in Britain and maybe in Europe at passing the ball. The switch then was terrific. You could count the passes and appreciate them all. In the end, Robinson back heeled the ball to Dalglish. And the man... They call the master craftsman, fired in his first goal of the season to put Liverpool 2-0 up. And after Arsenal's best spell of the match, Liverpool, having absorbed all that, come back and score again. a far pensare che la formazione inglese potesse ottenere magari qualche rete di più. Il gol è stato segnato da Dolglish, uno dei grandi giocatori del Liverpool, della formazione rossa di Liverpool, che ha sfruttato per una volta tanto le sue doti di grande opportunista, la sua grande sensibilità nell'area di rigore, raccogliendo come vediamo un pallone vagante per battere il portiere avversario. Formazione che sembrava in pratica... It took 17 minutes of constant pressure before Dolglish found his way through. and rushes away here he's on side too can he keep his cool Dalglish can and that's the goal which equals the record for a British player in the Champions Cup Peterson soon as wins it fairly Dalglish can this be the record breaker it is Kenny Dalglish finally surpasses the man who was his childhood hero Dennis Law. It's been played short for Dalglish. He's got it! That's the goal that Kenny Dalglish wanted. He's made history. No wonder the Liverpool players go to him. And what a goal with which to clinch the century. Cutting in from the right and firing it beautifully wide of Cooper into the far side of the goal. That's quite a moment to witness, especially for those of us here at the ground, and it'll be recorded throughout football. Doug Leash made it 2-0 with the sort of chip he can hit with remarkable accuracy. Three minutes left now. Long ball from Phil Neal. And Kenny Delvish. Number two. No. Yes, it's there. I thought for a moment it had been disallowed. Has it been disallowed? It has. The flag was down. And Kenny's shot right at the end is disallowed. I can't think it was offside. I don't know if he fouled Stevens here, did he? Did he foul him? He may have given him first push at the back, but he certainly didn't look to foul Stevens. He didn't look to be offside. It is a, a very, very difficult job, player and manager. Have you had thoughts about how you're going to combine the two? Probably badly, but that remains to be seen. <laughs> but will you... Well, it's a tremendous help, really, Mark, and it's... Uh... The entire backroom staff have given me their full support. Uh, they remained intact in this stage. Bob Paisley is there beside us for the game. Joe Fagan remained and he's helped me look at some teams. And really, 
I've had tremendous support from everyone, including the players and obviously the, the, the board itself. And uh, if I can't do it, it's only through my own fault, my own inability. Order was soon restored to the city of Liverpool, though, when Kenny Dalglish was left in front of an open goal to score the winner. So then, away go Everton, from right to left, in front of this capacity crowd, 52,500, a sell-out crowd. Everton having won the last three derby matches, but as Kenny Dalglish says, that counts for nothing on the day. Derby matches are one-offs. Here's Dalglish. What a start from Liverpool! It was a magnificent call by Dalglish. Well, I was just saying they're one-offs, and that's a one-off from Kenny Dalglish. What a spectacular start. And the first player manager in Liverpool's history has given them the lead in the very first minute of this game. Just 25 seconds gone, and Liverpool have taken the lead through Kenny Dalglish. Sure enough, the old master, Kenny Dalglish, pulled out some magic with a superb goal. And that's the way it ended, one all with everything to play for January, in the second leg. The travelling faithful didn't have long to wait for the opening goal, though. Ronnie Whelan supplies the pass, Barry Cowdrell makes a hash of it, and Dalglish rarely misses from here. Beckling again. Whelan. And Dalglish is in here. Yes! The player manager scores the goal that may edge Liverpool nearer to their 16th championship. The fans celebrate 24 minutes gone. And Jim Beglin's presence in the Liverpool attack was so important. He had the earlier shot, he stayed forward, and when Dalglish got free, that was an unerring finish. on the ball now and uh, that sort of pass is an invitation to Liverpool to do something late in the day Ronnie Whelan Dalglish that's a superb goal and you just can't give Liverpool anything Steve Linex gave the ball away in the centre of the field Ronnie Whelan broke and Kenny Dalglish produced a goal here which was the hallmark of a really fine player. How many times we've seen him come inside on his left foot and curl a shot like that beyond the goalkeeper. Johnston, tricking height, and again. The West Ham have got plenty back. Benison. McMahon, going round all, bringing in Beglin. Dalglish is darting forward. And it's gone in! It was deflected, but Dalglish will say, that's mine. And Liverpool go into the lead again, and there was little that Parks could do about it. What a glorious move forward it was by Liverpool, though. And that little darting run by Dalglish, taking it on his left foot. And although there was a wicked deflection that might well have wrong-footed Parks, he goes into the back of the net, Liverpool into the lead. And Kenny Dalglish goes down as a scorer. One by Gale. Johnny Gale again. It's coming towards the point. And time is being added on. As Kenny Dalglish goes looking for goal number five. And another one. Well, just like his earlier one, it was a wicked deflection. But right on time, Liverpool make it five. And Kenny Dalglish is second of the game.
kept a clean sheet in 10 of his last 15 games. Which gives you an idea of the task facing Southampton now. Touch on there by Craig Johnston. Rush battling with Bond. And what great acceleration there by Craig Johnston. It falls for Kenny Dalglish. And the player manager celebrates with the second goal. the work of the master craftsman curling it round and just inside the post to beat Shilderman what a great break here by Johnston crossed in Southampton caught wrong footed there and here's Delglish a quick look around and gliding it wide of the defender wide of Peter Shilton back of the net 2-0 Rush. Here's Dalglish. And he's hit it too high for Sutton. That was a brilliant strike because, to my mind, Kenny Dalglish just fainted to curl it. Instead, he drilled it. And it deceived Sutton. A touch from Walsh, then from Rush. He looked to one corner and then found the other. Sutton will be disappointed. Dalglish delighted. His eighth goal overall this season. And at a telling time. Hanks in. Aurera. McMahon, controla tu veñera balo ya. McMahon, Douglas y esta Douglas se gol. Pita Uts, Liverpool, osas una di ira baste. Ira baste en diola. Garbi da go, yo costré. Garbi cusilite que esta sartu de envigal rengolau. Polilla go ya ya elite que egin. Veñera va dirudi gausta que resegui teni tu estela sier. Horra o repica el día. No la controla tu verba de Orishi, tanda y Kuska Riena, Magmahanek no la controla tu en Baloya, velocidad de Antijuala, la histerca. Getting back into the business again. McMahon into Gleish. That's great play, Barnes. Tries to curl it right. That must be a goal. It is. Kenny Douglas with Jibouli. <laughs> and he loves it. Isn't it marvelous to see a broad smile in that man's face again? And football and scoring goals, which is what he was born for, has done it for him. Look at this. Beautiful little dead touch. He's been full of them all afternoon and getting up there very quickly on that mistake by Borna. Everyone wants to play, don't they? Everybody wants to, to share my occasion. And the best way for me to, to say thank you to them is I thought maybe to put the jazz on it and run out and play. Do you enjoy being hindsight? No, well, maybe in hindsight they would think that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I enjoy it, you know, as I said, playing the best part of football. And the people that stand in the court were doing something that I love to have done, and, and I couldn't do it, so I did something probably they'd love to do as well.